The automobile has long been part of our everyday life. New models are now equipped with a large number of electronic sensors and technical assistance that now belong to standard features. Additional batteries and other electronics are built into electric and hybrid cars. All of these components generate an increase in electromagnetic radiation. The warnings from scientists around the world have been increasing for years as the permanent influence of electromagnetic radiation is constantly affecting our cells. There are now more than 900 studies that document the harmful effects of radiation exposure on our health. But can the effects of electromagnetic radiation on our bodies from automobiles be made visible? To find out, we meet naturopath Kurt Lorenzohm in his practice in Rosenheim. Kurt Zohm has been researching the effects of electrosmog on the human body for years. What is planned for today? Yes, today we've organized a very exciting test with three cars and three drivers. More specifically, a conventional car, a hybrid, and an electric car. Our goal is to see what effects a 15 to 20 minute drive has on the blood cells, and therefore on the human organism. We conduct a control test beforehand, and then take another sample immediately after the first drive. The car will then be equipped with the Mimonizer car, and the test is repeated again for 15 to 20 minutes. Afterwards, we'll be able to see the effects on the blood cells, which I'm personally very excited about. Our first test subject arrives at the practice. She will do the test on a combustion-powered automobile. Kurt Sohm takes the first sample from the test person's fingertip, known as a peripheral drop of blood. He then looks at the sample under the dark field microscope. The special thing about this type of microscope is that the blood drop is not illuminated directly as usual, but indirectly. This approach is comparable to a speck of dust in the air that you can see in the air in the morning sun. One can now see or observe the individual blood cells. These are the erythrocytes, these are the red blood cells, and this is a granulocyte, a white one that represents the immune system. When looking at the dark field microscope, we examine how the individual blood cells relate to one another. Now that's a very good initial blood sample. It is important for the erythrocytes, especially for this series of experiments, that they lie as individually as possible so that they are free. Sometimes they may touch each other a little, but not clump together too much. That's actually quite nice. After the first blood sample, the test subject gets into the automobile with the combustible engine and drives in the area of the Rosenheim practice. When finished, she then returns to the practice. The expert again takes a sample from the test subject and examines it under the dark field microscope. And that's what you call a classic rouleau formation. If the erythrocytes have normal surface tension, they will repel one another. However, when exposed to radiation, this surface tension is changed and then they no longer repel each other, but rather attract to one another. Then they align like stacks of coins, also known as a rouleau formation. These stacks of coins no longer get into the small capillaries, which causes a lack of oxygen in the cell. The difference between the blood cells before and after the drive is clear. Before the second drive occurs, a memonizer car and a memonizer car media are installed in the automobile. According to the manufacturer, both devices should counteract the negative effects of electrosmog. We let the subject drive for another 20 minutes and we are curious to see what the blood looks like after attaching the memonizer. After the second drive, the following blood picture is shown. The Rouleau effect has virtually disappeared again. This alone is very impressive. But what about an electric or hybrid automobile? We invited two new subjects for the test. Now it's getting really exciting. Once again, our expert explains the test series to the test subjects. The blood cells of both test subjects are initially very good. Most of the erythrocytes are clearly visible. Yes, great. So that's it for now. Perfect. This makes for a good start. The test subject with an electric car starts her journey first. Then the test subject with a hybrid car follows. The electric car is exclusively battery operated, while the hybrid car uses the electric or diesel engine as the drive source, depending on the driving situation. Both drive a good 15 minutes through the Rosenheim area before returning to the practice. Here, Kurt Sohm takes a blood sample from them for the second time. 
Now it's getting really exciting. Will there be differences in the blood cells as before? This is what it looks like after a quarter of an hour in an electric car. You can't be serious. That simply shows a massive circulatory disruption due to the stress. This stress alone has changed the blood cells so drastically because nothing else was changed during this quarter of an hour. This means that the blood is no longer as free-flowing as it was before? Yes, exactly. Before they were free and flowed nicely into this periphery, but with this rouleau formation, it blocks at some point in the small capillaries and simply creates a lack of oxygen in the cells, a lack of nutrients. So this is after a quarter of an hour. <laughs> that surprises me. Yes, there is now a different effect visible. They have also bonded together. They are now simply more clearly related and also really stick together here. And these are the effects of high-frequency radiation. It's like a Faraday cage when you sit in the automobile with all the technology. Now, these two cars are also equipped with a memonizer car on the steering column and a memonizer car media on the display of the multimedia system. Again, we let the test subjects drive a second time for a good 15 minutes. One last drive through the surrounding area of Rosenheim to find out whether the Memon technology can also have an effect on cars with extremely high levels of electrosmog. That was a lot of fun. You both are now back after another 15 minutes drive in a Maimon harmonized car. Let's take a look at the blood cells and see if any differences are visible. So now, the erythrocytes are free again. They keep their distance from one another. This is now the ideal situation again. That's exactly what it should look like, especially after the increased exposure. Does the other subject show similarly good results? The picture of the blood is definitely okay, and it's simply important that they are flowing freely. That's actually the main effect of what MIMON is about. When the electromagnetic stress is simply gone, the erythrocytes can freely flow again. After the first trip, I was really surprised and really shocked at the change in the blood cells after such a short period of time. And I was just as surprised. Because the second trip wasn't longer, the effect is reversed just as quickly. And if you then imagine how long people sometimes sit in electric cars and what that does with their blood, one should counteract that. Well, I'd say that with the first test drive, without Menon, there was an inner unrest. Perhaps you can imagine it as being too high in blood pressure, where one is restless and a little more tingly or trembling. And on the second trip with Menon, you could just relax. I was just more relaxed. I could breathe deeper and more calmly and have become calmer, generally calmer. So I think, as a core statement, you can really say that modern cars, regardless of the category, have massive effects on blood cells. You saw that after these 15 to 20 minute drives, there were massive effects with these rouleau formations, sometimes with the fillet threads. On the other hand, we see a clear correction in the end after the second drive with the memonizer car, that the blood count was back in the healthy range again. It is also very clear that there is a very big difference between the modern cars and these new electric cars, in that the stress factor virtually always increases. It will definitely not decrease anytime soon. And that too should be viewed critically from a health perspective. Transportation with automobiles is an integral part of our everyday life. Due to the built-in technology, the countless microprocessors, and the use of multimedia technology, we are exposed to more and more electromagnetic radiation in the smallest of spaces. This is why there is a technology that has been used successfully for years, which protects us effectively and naturally from increasing exposure to radiation. Mimon. Renature your life.